I should be standing out in a beautiful field of soybeans right now for this story. But unfortunately, or fortunately, it's wintertime here in Michigan, or actually, actually it's springtime here in Michigan. But this is spring in Michigan, so you're going to have to use your imagination about those soybeans. The soybean is the number two crop in Michigan, and that means lots and lots of these. Well, again, use your imagination, not these. But now those soybeans are getting turned into everything from insulation to headrests, and it's all happening with the help of MSU and Ramani Narayan. By switching from a fossil base to a bio base allows you to reduce the carbon footprint, reduce our dependence on oil and petroleum and fossil, and, uh, and then create a value-added system for agriculture in the state. There are big hopes for this important work. Partnerships are forming to make sure there is the know-how and the money to turn those hopes into reality. Narayan's bio-based material research group here on campus hooked up with the biggest soybean processor in the state, Zeeland Farm Service. Together, they pulled down a cool million plus dollars from the Michigan Economic Development Corporation 21st Century Jobs Fund program, and they were off and running. Romani Narayan is sometimes called the ultimate Spartan. He spends a big chunk of his time trying to turn all kinds of stuff green. And no, not the color. We are developing a polyurethane material from soy, which uh, will essentially replace or substitute for existing petrofossil-based polyurethane materials. And a big bonus is that this is a story with its roots here in the mitten. The exciting thing about this project is it's all Michigan, a model system where we are growing things in Michigan, manufacturing them here, and then making the finished product also here in Michigan. Uh, a wonderful success story, and this is already happening. Well, this is on cooling is what you yeah. The ultimate Spartan, maybe. But sometimes it takes the ultimate Spartan to keep turning the world green. <laughs>